Buenos dias, senoras y senores. Today, Noir Alley presents a very special film airing for the first time on Turner Classic Movies. Los Tayos Amargos, known in English, if it's known at all, as The Bitter Stems, made in Argentina in 1956. It is a significant lost film in the history of international cinema, restored several years ago by my Film Noir Foundation with the cooperation of the UCLA Film and Television Archive and the Hollywood Foreign Press Association's Charitable Trust. The restoration had its American premiere in 2016 at my Noir City Film Festival in San Francisco, and I'm hoping its TCM debut will help re-earn the film the recognition it deserves. Los Tayos Amargos won the 1957 Silver Condor Award given by the Argentine Film Critics Association to the nation's best film, with director honors going to Fernando Ayala. Forty-three years later, American Cinematographer magazine placed the film 49th on its list of the best photographed films of all time. Well, despite these accolades, a 35-millimeter print of the film was unavailable for decades, and as a result, the film was virtually unknown outside Argentina. It was on a trip to South America in 2010 that I first saw it, thanks to Argentina's greatest cinephile, Fernando Martin Peña. He was the man responsible for the discovery in Buenos Aires of the long-lost complete version of Fritz Lang's 1929 masterpiece, Metropolis. Fernando showed me his personal 16-millimeter print of Los Tayos Amargos in Spanish, and even though my grasp of the plot was sketchy, I was completely enthralled. I was determined to find some way to bring this film to international audiences in a restored, subtitled version. Eventually, in late 2014, Fernando told me he discovered the film's deteriorating negative in a cellar at the country estate of one of the film's producers. An awesome find, yes, but it was also something of a nightmare to see the condition in which the films were kept. Weeds growing up through the floor, no ventilation, the film cans all rusted shut. Amazingly, we were able to salvage the original negative. Other films in the room were not so lucky. Fernando and I considered it something like providence that Los Tayos Amargos was saved before further deterioration set in. There was no soundtrack, however, that had to be digitally rebuilt from Fernando's 16-millimeter print. All this diligent work was overseen by our colleague Scott McQueen at the UCLA Film and Television Archive. The result is the rediscovery of one of the greatest films ever made in Argentina. The movie is based on a novel by journalist Adolfo Yasca, which won the MSA Literary Prize, Argentina's most prestigious award for fiction. Screenwriter Sergio Leonardo provides an excellent adaptation of the book. The story revolves around an ambitious but frustrated newspaper man named Alfredo Gaspar, whose shortcut to success is the creation of a lucrative, if unethical, correspondence course that bilks would-be journalists. His scheme and paranoia leads to a heinous crime that haunts Gaspar in shocking and unexpected ways. Carlos Cores, who plays the tortured, insecure protagonist, was a big star in Latin America, working in various Spanish-speaking countries for esteemed directors such as Carlos Hugo Christensen, Julio Bracho, and Roberto Gavaldon. In the 1960s, he became a writer and director himself. His bunco partner is played by dancer Vasily Lambrinos. He gives an exceptional and charismatic performance. And I'll have something fascinating to share about him after the film. There are two exceptional aspects to Los Tayos Amargos, beyond the wonderfully dark twists and turns of its plot. First is the previously mentioned work of Chilean cinematographer Ricardo Junis. In the late 1930s, Junis came to America as a protege of Greg Toland, who was about to revolutionize movies with his camera work on Citizen Kane. Junis returned to South America in 1942, gravitating to the bustling film capital of Buenos Aires, where he shot more than 100 films until his retirement in 1991. Junis died in 2011, and it pains me that he never got to see the restoration of his best film. He masters the dark and sultry noir style, 
but also create several expressionistic dream sequences that could have been lifted straight from early German or Russian cinema. The film also features one of the first film scores of Astor Piazzolla, who would go on to fame as the innovator of Nuevo Tango, a blend of jazz, classical, and traditional tango that would eventually make him the most renowned Argentine composer of the 20th century. It's an eclectic score in which Piazzolla daringly uses any type of musical form to convey the necessary emotion. Now, thanks to my colleague Fernando Peña and the Film Noir Foundation and its many patrons, this film has been returned to its rightful place in cinema history. Noir Alley is proud to present Los Tayos Amargos, The Bitter Stems.